Yeah, so we've been talking about praying, if, if you haven't noticed already. That's, that's uh, kind of the theme, <laughs> some might say. Yeah, I know it's crazy. Um, and uh, let's look at 1 Thessalonians 5 first. We've touched on this verse already probably more than once because it's an awesome verse. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 17 says, Pray without ceasing, in which that's pretty straightforward what that means. Um, but kind of something really awesome, um, I mean, get God's heart as far as praying. Um, you know what prayer is, you know, which we've been talking about it. It's really just, I mean, it really is just a conversation with God. And just intimate one-on-one -on -one with, with our daddy, you know. Um, I mean, that, that's why he paid such a high price, you know, to have that access. You know, that's Jesus, Jesus Christ was like the access card, you know, to get into the presence of God, you know, where we can open up our heart to him and just spend time with him. And, you know, so that's what prayer is, you know, just uh, just hanging out with our Heavenly, Fa Heavenly Father, you know. And so, uh, verse 18 it says, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And this is kind of this kind of what I want to share on uh, living a life of thanksgiving. And uh, you know, kind of going with that, you know, that praying is that constant one-on-one -on -one relationship. You know, this is something that God desires us all the time. You know, not just like when we need something, you know, or. You know, when we're struggling with something, I mean, which that, that also, you know, he wants us to come to open up our heart to him, bring our problems to him, you know, but I mean, just, he wants us, to, this is just a daily, uh, just life, it's, it's like a lifestyle, you know, just, just spend time with God and, um, and, you know, and so while we're doing that, you know, just that one-on-one -on -one dialogue, you know, he just loves it when we're, when we're thanking him, you know, I mean, th this is a, this is a way of life. You know, just praying, talking to God, you know, thanking Him, you know, praising Him. You know, th th this is God's heart. Um, you know, and then it says, you know, it says, in everything give thanks. You know, in everything except for during crappy times. No. You know, our, our car breaks down, you know, or we're having financial problems, you know, or even stuff more serious than that. You know, sometimes in those, in the in the really hard times, it's it's, it's not easy to be thankful. You know, um, but I kind I guess the message I want to get across is being thankful even amidst the, the pressures of life. You know, just the uh, the hard times. You know, those times that, that we're overwhelmed and we're looking we're looking at the situation and and we don't see what to be thankful for. You know, I mean, sometimes may may we've been in, in that place. You know, I know I have. Yep. You know, um, but we absolutely can be thankful. Which which this is some things I, that I want to touch on. And hopefully, you know, encourage all of this. You know, so we can. Uh, so we can just we can just kind of touch on how can, why can we be thankful during those those hard times? You know, those overwhelming times where our hearts hurting or. Just huge problems, whether, whether whether it's finances or whatever it is, you know. And and so we know if we're looking in the five senses, if we're looking at the situation, you know. I mean, you know, and it seems like you know something comes up, you know, we get that taken care of, and then two more things come up, you know. Just you know, so if we're focusing on the problem, you know, it's it's it, it's hard to be thankful, you know, but. But we can look at it from a different perspective, you know, and, and we can be thankful. And so we can look in, uh, let's look in Romans 8, 28. It says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. And, and so this is this is referring to us, you know, we're, we're the called ones, you know. 
And so we know that no matter what situation we're going through, why can we be thankful? Well, because we know that that no matter what it's looking like, you know, sometimes maybe it's it's, it's a thing that you know we pray about it and it's not getting fixed right away. You know, and that's where that that awesome thing that we love patience comes in play. You know, that, that's, that's our favorite part, isn't it? You know, and so. Uh, <clears throat> You know, and so sometimes, you know, it, it, it does take some patience, you know, but but what's wonderful is that is that when those hard times come comes up, that and we, we don't feel like we're seeing any improvement, we could we can take God's word that He's He's taking care of it. You know, so sometimes our emotions are jumbled up and we don't know how to deal with it, but but we can take God take God's word and His promise. You know, no, no matter how we feel, and that that is enough. Um, let's look at Psalm thirty-four, nineteen. Something else just to, to kind of reinforce that. You know, so what, what, why can we be thankful in, in those, those hard times? You know, it says in uh, Psalm 34, 19, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Out of, out of most of them? No. No. Out of every single one of them. You know, and, and so we can take that to the bank. You know, I mean, that, I mean we have God's promise that he is working all things together for good for us. You know, and, that, and we know that whatever we're going through right now, whatever it is, you know, no matter how overwhelming it seems like, you know, we, we know that God is working on it. And that we will get delivered out of it. Um, you know, and, and, and so in our day to day, you know, our 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 private prayer time, you know, just our, our time with the Father, you know, just spending that intimate time with Him, you know, opening up our heart to Him, crying in His arms, you know, whatever it is, um, you know, we, you know, we, we can be thanking Him no matter what we're going through. You know, we're thanking Him. Thank you, God, that you are working this, working this together for good for me, that you're working this situation out for me. You know, thank you that you are going to deliver me. You know, we confess this. You know, when we're thanking Him, we are we are we're acknowledging that He is working in the situation. You know, and we know that that when we pray for something, that He hears us. When He hears us, He answers prayer. You know, that's what someone touched on touched on in First John. You know, so so we pray for something, and we thank God for for taking care of that. Um, you know, so and and as we just spend time with him and open up our hearts to him, in the meantime, you know, he, he, you'll 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 get reminded just how much he loves you. You know, just spend that one-on-one -on -one time with him. You know, you'll you'll learn by experience just that personal love that he has for each and every one of you. You know, and, and it's it's like you're reminding yourself more and more and more. You know, the love he has for you. You know, so then when something comes up, we don't like freak out. You know, I mean, you know, of course, you know, stuff like that will happen every once in a while, you know, but, but when we're spending time with him so much, you know, we're, we're, we're thanking him, we're praising him, we're telling him our heart, you know, anything that's hurting, you know, he, he is, he's just so revealing his love to us in such a personal way, you know, I mean, that, that's really the only way to really, to really see his love, you know, by, that by experience, you know, to know his love. You know, just by spending that one-on-one -on -one time with him. You know, so, so then, you know, just you know, we, we we just get much more peaceful about and and more um, more confident and lift stuff to him. You know, that, that's that's a big key. Just you know, just spending time with him. You know, and thanking him and praising him and glorifying him. You know, just the, the more we do that, and just we'll see so much peace. You know, and then speaking in tongues also really helps with that. You know, just speaking in tongues much, I and mean, that, that really makes a big difference in our life. You know, but um, you know, just uh, I mean, th there's always stuff to be thankful for. 
You know, I mean, what what God did through Jesus Christ. I mean, that's just that, that alone is amazing. You know, I mean, we we don't take that for granted. Um, you know, just like Hebrews four sixteen. You know, someone touched on you know that it, it says you know let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. You know that we can obtain mercy and find help in, in our time of need. You know, it's because of Jesus Christ that that we can come boldly. You know, we don't come you know crawling to him or you know with fear and trembling. I mean, he's our daddy. You know, so so we we that's how we approach him. You know, and and, and so, so so we can be thankful. Thank you, God, that I can just come to you now. I don't have to make any kind of sacrifice or or go to the holy, you know, to the holy of holies or go to the temple. Because of what Christ did, we say, Thank you, God, that I can just come to you and open up my heart. Mm-hmm. Um, let's look at first uh, Corinthians fifteen. Verse 57. 1 Corinthians 15, 57. It says, But thanks be to God. You know, there, there's that thanks. Which giveth us the, the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, he, he continually gives us the victory. You know, because of what Christ did, because when Christ did what He did, he gained victory over the devil. And when he won, we won. Because we're, we're identified with him. You know, so no matter what you're going through, we are victorious every single day. And so, so we thank you, God, you know, that, that we are. You know, that because of what he did, that we have the victory. When Christ is victorious, we are victorious with Him in our identification with Him. That's just that's a huge thing. You know, so I guess I mean, that, that's that's the main main point I want to get across. Just the heart of. Of, of, of praying, you know, without ceasing. You know, that's just, that's just praying, you know, just day to day. You know, this is just spending time with God. And this is what He desires. You know, this is why He did what He did, just to have a relationship. You know, just, like, just an intimate, just, you know, I mean, you know we, we have the right to call Him our Abba. You know, and, and, which, and, and if, if you look at it, you know, the only ones who have ever called God their Abba is us and Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and it's it's an Aramaic word that, that just means daddy. You know, it's it's such a personal personal word, and, and, and this is our relationship with him. You know, so so this is how we this is how we approach him. You know, we, we go to our daddy, you know, and, and we thank him every single day for what he did. So much to be thankful for. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, he didn't want to, want to do what he did. You know, I mean, he went to his daddy. Is there any other way? But he said, nevertheless, you know, thank you, God. Mm-hmm. You know, thank you, Jesus Christ, for what you did. You know, this is stuff we're thankful for every day. You know, we keep that in mind when we're talking to him, when we're lifting stuff, opening up our hearts to him. This is happy tears. <laughs> Tears are very good. Mm. Yeah, so just so I just encourage you and just just spend so much time to time with him, and you you'll see his love his love for you in such a personal way. I mean, I mean, you can't be described how much it says as high as the heavens are above the earth. That's his love for you. You know, and, and it just keeps going. You know, that's a figure of speech. You know, and that's his love. Like, there's no measurement. To measure that, you know. So just so, so let's let's just go to our heavenly Father, you know, just as much as we can thank to Him. He loves that, you know, and and, and just we'll see so, just so much more peace just throughout our day to day life. You know, we'll see His love for us, and and um, yeah, we'll just you know just you know thank you, God, 
we're victorious in, 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 in whatever we're going through, you know. Um, so yeah, that's about it. <laughs>